Cloud Eye. What's up, what's up? What's going on the people? You don't know it's invincible. The raga raga boss, you know. What's going on? What's going on? First and foremost, give thanks and praise to the most high God for life. You see me? You don't know. Big respect to all the real invincible fans, them. The real raga raga fans, them. New fans, big up on yourself. Be one fans, big up on yourself. So, I say, you don't know. Some of us, they are do some paperwork and take care of some business. And I get an alert from my phone. Well, somebody send me something from my phone and I say, yo, check this out. So, I go say, boom, bang. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to see something with mega call disturbing. And I don't know, uh, uh, again, if it's a 100% fact, but I'm going to jump on it right away. You see me? So, what I saw was dancehall artist Mad Cabra. Ewart Brown, aka Mad Cabra, was caught with drugs, two key, a cocaine, and a loaded handgun. In a Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Now, I don't know 100% if it's 100%. So this is just allegations. But like I said, the news, I got the news thing. They sent it to me and it's like Fort Lauderdale news. I read it and Mad Cabra Face has the picture up on the thing. So, I said, Jaja. Now, <laughs> it come like every time I do a video I mention certain things and some people might have said other youth and go on like him know so much people but if you know the history of the music and you know certain things you know so everything I may mean, say is facts and you know go around the corner something seen so Mad Cabra is an artist also from Portmore from over Britain See? So if you follow the, new, the, the music and you follow the history of the music, you know who we are talking about. See? So Mad Cobra is one of the big artists who come from, one of the first big artists who come from over our part, over that part there or something. So I say about Britain. Mad Cobra mother, Mad Cobra mother is a teacher. Miss Brown, she even teach me over Britain early in school. Mad Cabra have a brother named I think a Rambo we used to call him or something like that. You know what I mean? So he's a he's a big brother where we know. Mad Cabra is a brother where used to come down upon the ball field, down there, sir. Play ball with the play skimmage with and things like that. When we are look at you. So I say, so we know say we respect him, rate him and everything. See? Now, if this is really true, it's sad. See? And basically, I'm going to look upon it like this. This is more of greed. If it's indeed true, because again, it's alleged. And we don't know the full on it as yet. But I'm going to say, it's greed. We know it's a cabinet really DJ no more. I think the last performance cover though was last month at a love fest in New York. See? And he mash it up, you know. It was, you know, he don't really do music no more. Some might say so, oh he must survive. One thing me know about Mad Cobra is this. He's a man where have a lot of investment, always been investing in things. See? We know some Mad Cobra. He used to have race horses. He used to have buses. Over Britain, he might have a football team named Punisher. See? So he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a brother where all is a invest. I know that. I don't know if he still have it today. But I know that he also had farming business. Where him big land, where him buy and raise cow and pig and all kind of things. See? So he should be okay. So if he is if he's doing our hustling, I wanna knock people hustling up, but I'm just saying we have people where worse off and we have people where struggles 
I struggle real bad. And then we are there. And them now go do them something there. So this is just my opinion, you know. Again, my people. A reason where a reason. And like I said, I'm not going to say me a mad cover tight like this. And I'm not going to say, yeah, where are you? I'm a bridge, you know. No, when I say them something there, like I said, him come from my area, phase two, to be exact. See? A mar mad cover married a browning girl. I forgot her name right now, her name has slipped my mind. But she used to live on the same walkway where me did live. Me live on one end house, a second snap away of a Brayton face tree. There was a browning who lived on the other end house, down at the other end of the walkway, where every man used to want. And Cabra, the big man, I'm the DJ, I'm the man at the moment. I him coming super away from everybody. All my big brother mental book. Everybody did in love with that girl. Like I know back in them days there. A browning, pretty browning thing. See? So we know of Mad Cobra. We know Mad Cobra. And like I said, this is a brother who have a lot of investment. So if he is indeed doing these things, man, I bash him enough. You know? say it seems to me like some sense of greed. You understand? Some sense of greediness for you have all those investments and still are doubling at them thing there. See, even if you're used to doubling at it back in the days, you're deep on a level now where you know should have them thing there. That's not an investment that you should have going on. See? A lot of people might not know this. A lot of people think the song when they flex, girl flex, time to have. People think the other song they made Cabra did get rich in the 90s. But truth be told, it was not that. Mad Cabra had an incident at one hotel where him slipped in a pool of water, a puddle of water, and broke him foot. You understand? Slip in a water, broke him foot, sued the hotel. And get a half a million US dollar in the early part of 1990, 91, 92, somewhere around them time. So you know, it's a lot of money that back then. Even now, it's a lot of money that. See? So, with that plus hit songs, plus tours, plus business and all these things, it should be okay. This, should, this is just greediness if that's the case. Saying, I'm not really going to put up with that and I'm not really going to defend that. Again, I'm not knock nobody hustle. Saying, but I just a look on. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't know what's going on with the artist, them. I don't know. It's like somebody put a spell on the artist, them. We have Ninja Man behind bars, we have Vibes Cartel. We have Zebra. We have uh, with the other crazy one there, Jack Ewer. It was this flip, Flipper Mafia just come out of prison. And we just have to do better, man. You know what I say? We have to cut out the greediness as, as you know, that's a Jamaican thing. You know, I have something I refuse to call people name, but I have family member we are artists was big top artists and them choose to go do other things and now and deal with the artist thing and them talented and, and famous saying probably end up behind bar right now as we speak it just seems like it's a sense of greediness seeing we just need to start praying for the entire jamaica the entire entertainment industry and everything you understand me? I say it's just it's sad and it's not a good look. Seeing where hope and pray say nothing really go so. Hope and pray say the gun with them fine. Not have nobody on it and all kind of things and every kind of thing what we can think of. You see me? I say but that's just my opinion. This just this this not, this should not go on. This should not go on with a man like that was supposed to already okay and set in life. 
You see me I say? What, 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 so if you set in life and you're supposed to have all these things and all these investments and all these millions of dollars, what more do you want? So what to the youth, them like we, like me, you know, what are we supposed to do? You understand? We not, we can, we not hustle because I not hustle. I have my two kids, them and I decide to say, I not going to do nothing wrong. See? Because I don't want to spend the time in prison and them amongst my youth, them where I grew up. And what? Them amongst my youth, them can't see my youth, them I grew up and them things. But it's really sad. It's a really sad story, right? Some, I see there's some paper, I have my laptop in front of me. I have some business I me, me, me conduct and I deal with some things work related. And I just get the message that I say, yo, like seriously. And I have to stop what I do. I'm saying, I said, let me just do this video, dog. So, again, when I, I am not putting down the DJ because the, the Mad Cobra are one of my favorite artists. Seeing, let me just watch yesterday. I'm going to re watch him love his performance. You understand me? I say, I may laugh when, you know, a part of the performance, I'm going to start laughing. I say, yo, turn off which mic. I guess him time did up or something. And, you know, I laugh and I say, still have the little talky talky thing with him. You understand? So it's really a sad moment and a time now for with us. I'm not saying that only Jamaican artists are only Jamaicans that do certain things, you know. We have other people and other cultures and other races and other whatever do it too. But we are get caught up in a them certain system too much. Too much. And it's all because of greed. And all because of some people just basically, you know, want to just be in at the fast pace. Nobody not around take the time now for us to grow. Nobody not believe in a creep before you walk no more. Nobody not believe in a putting in the work and the time and the effort and everything. Forget where you want, where you really need to be to the destination point, so to speak. Every man just want the cake and want it right away. And even the people, them and the man, them and the woman, them will have the cake already and have the big piece of the cake still want more and more and more cake. Seeing we not going to have diabetes and not going to choke if we want, if we not crave, man, just want. Every piece of the type of cake them are out there. See my people. Don't know, you know. You know, just leave in a comment. Again, these, these are just my opinions. And again, just respect each other. Love each other. Respect one another. When me come and when we know most people, when them come and talk, we just vent our opinions and a reason where a reason. We don't mean a disrespect to nobody. And we don't mean like we are putting nobody down with us our talk. And one thing... Us Jamaican will lack in, will lack in taking constructive criticism. As soon as a man wants to try to help you or teach you or tell you something, the first conclusion you go to is them boy are this man, oh them boy are the bad mind, or them jealous of me. That's the first leading point that seen. And not all the time it's so. Yes, we do have jealous people. Yes, we do have will it, will, uh, 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 um, wicked people. See, but it's not always like that. Sometimes we have to hear with somebody say, listen, sit back. Anytime people have anything to say to me, me listen. Then me can sit back and me can use my common knowledge and say, where must say make sense? Or where must say don't make no sense? See? And that's what we need to start doing as Jamaicans. See? The arrogant, the ignorance and the stupid things them. See, we have to cut them stuff out and we have to know if we learn how to just build. See, that's just my opinion on my people. Just tell me what to think. You see me, I say, please tell me what to think. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button so whenever I drop a video, everybody can say boom, bang, yeah. Listen to it. Share, comment. Tell your friend for tell your friend. What is a reason? See me, I say, a lot of people respect and like how oh, me just come and break down things and that's a reason we are reason see so again big up and pray for mad cobra and hope everything will be everything you know me i say so again it's invincible it's the raga raga boss they are work on some paperwork for the business to get back the, the label and and track and thing and we have some new songs for job you know me do a song for my father that love it 
everybody love it. Them people them were listening to it already. It's not release it, no mix or nothing, but you know, we have a little circle of people who once my record a song, we let them hear it and get feedbacks and everybody love it more than all the even though me love it because I still I say I want to go back in there and patch it up because I'm not do it right. But look out for that one nice for my father, you know me I say I'm not I'm not hundred at the moment, so I decide to do a song for him and thing and we we'll do a music video and everything for it. And so, you see me answer. so you don't know, it's invincible, it's the Raga Raga Boss, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, Mad Cabra may God go with you, you see me answer. blessings, bam.